A funny story. story a funny story. A funny story? Yeah. So, funny story. Hmm. I don't know any funny stories. Life is miserable. <laughs> a funny story? I, I told a story today about a prank I pulled on an RA in Great Falls Prairie. Um, myself and a buddy, a couple buddies and I were at work. And I, it was April 1st. 2004, and I had one of the guys that worked there call up the prayer release and say, oh, yeah, has McLaughlin and Kelly and O'Leary come back yet? And they're like, are they back there? They're like, no, why? Like, because they left for lunch at noon, and they haven't come back yet. I just wonder where they are. We're not supposed to go anywhere. So then the guy hangs up. He hangs up the phone. They're like, oh, yeah, they're not here. So he hangs up the phone. I was like, call them back, call them back, call them back. And so when he answered, we're like, April Fool's. And uh, they didn't think it was that funny. I'm telling a joke in that story today about my pranks, my fake suicide prank at Newport, and that, and another one I played on with, when we were all up at Martha's house. Uh, I don't know. Is that a funny enough story for you? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. What other story would you like to hear? Um, I don't uh, know. Story I'll tell you, I got, uh, I, Catherine woke me up, did I tell you, with the link to a video on call somebody up and tell them yeah. you miss them? Yeah. Did I tell you about that? No. Well, it started out with Eric was on there, and they had like ten, eight, eight or ten people that they were interviewing, and they'd take little snippets of each one of them, so they were interspersed and interchanged with each other. But he, I remember the call. He calls me up and he goes, Mom, I'm just calling to tell you I miss you. And then the next words out of his mouth were, um, I'm recording this. Is that okay? <laughs> like, you know, he must really miss me if he's recording it. He's doing a show. Yeah. You know, I said, so I remember distinctly what I said. I said, well, only if I can do my up my stand-up comedy routine. <laughs> well, they didn't, they cut... <laughs> They cut that out. They didn't have that in there. Yeah. And then at one point, I said, if you really miss me, come and visit me before I die. And he goes, you know, I can't do that. You have to get vaccinated, which, of course, they printed that one. So every yeah. so everybody was commenting about what a terrible person I was for not getting oh, vaccinated. Get vaccinated. So I wrote in the oh, comments. Yeah. I went, everybody's lives. So I wrote in the comments. We went to see him before there were vaccinations when there was covid and he didn't seem to mind me coming in his apartment and cooking dinner for him and taking him out to breakfast the next day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that stuff is such a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, get vaccinated, don't get vaccinated, you're still going to get COVID, you're still going to spread COVID. So how do you get herd immunity if you can still get COVID when you're vaccinated? Well, you know what I tell people? I Well, somebody has to be the, the control study. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just wondering what long-term side effects are going to have on me for taking all those stupid vaccinations. Not because I wanted to. I know. I wouldn't have if it was up to me. I know. Or it's, you know, not a forced vaccination, but it's like, you know, you know, you get it or else. Yeah. 